Hello, dear students, and welcome to your final lesson in Grade 6. My name is Ljerka Vukic, and I'm your teacher for today. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about Australia. So, for this lesson, you need the usual things your notebook, pencil or pen, and your device with internet connection. But also, you need your imagination. Because in this lesson, you're going to listen to a story and then you will be able to retell it. And also, you're going to create a poster. And in that poster, you will show how you understand some ecological problems. Okay? Well done. So here is the map of the world. This map shows us English-speaking countries. As you can see, English is spoken all over the world, on different continents, in North America, in Europe, in Australia, in some African countries, and also in some Asian countries. But how did that happen? What do you think? Where did it all start? So the home of English is here, in England, in the United Kingdom, in Europe. And from here, people were traveling. And this is how English got to all parts of the world. In 1770, Mr. James Cook, who was a captain of a big ship, came from Britain to Australia. When he came there, there were already people who were living there. And we call these people the Aborigines. So they are the natives of Australia. And they have been living in Australia for over 50,000 years. And now we will see something about their lifestyle. The Aborigines are very good at harvesting the land. And these are some of the tools that they used for that. This is how they produced food. They also were great fishermen, and this is how they uh, were fishing. You can see it in these pictures. They also had very interesting tools for fishing. And they were also hunting, and in their huntings they were using boomerang. I'm sure that you have already heard of boomerang, but maybe you didn't know that it came from Australian Aborigines. But the Aborigines had also uh, a very rich social life. They were very good at arts. They lived in caves at the beginning, and they wanted to make their caves beautiful. So they produced cave art. Pechinska umjetnost. Also, they created some rock art. Umjetnost na stjenom. As you can see here and here on this detail. Aborigines also produced arc on trees. And we call this art bark art because it is produced on bark of the tree. To je umjetnost koju su oni stvarali na kori drveta. The Aborigines were also great dancers and they still are. And also the Aborigines were very wise people and they are wise even today. They didn't have schools, but they have a lot of knowledge and wisdom. Their children were listening to stories from older people in their communities. And this is how they became very wise and clever. In today's lesson, you're going to hear one of their stories. But before you do it, please copy these words in your notebooks, because as you listen to the story, you're going to put the numbers next to the words as you hear them. Sada prepišete ovaj slajd i dok budemo slušali priču, vi ćete stavljati brojeve kako čujete kojim redosedem čujete ove riječi. So stop the video and copy the words. Well done. This is our story. It is the secret of dreaming. Once there was nothing, nothing but the spirit of all life. 
For a long time, there was nothing. Then, in the mind of the spirit of life, a dreaming began. In the empty darkness, there was a dreaming of fire. And the color of fire burned brightly in the mind of the great spirit. Then came a dreaming of wind. And the fire danced and swirled in the mind of the spirit of life. Then came a dreaming of rain. For a long time, the battle of wind and rain raged in the dreaming. And the great spirit liked the dream. So the dreaming continued. Then, as the battle waned between fire, wind and rain, there came a dreaming of earth and sky and of the land and sea. For a long time, this dreaming continued. The great spirit began to grow tired from the dreaming, but wanted the dream to continue. So, life was sent into the dream to make it real and for creator spirits to continue the dreaming. So, the spirit of life sent the secret of dreaming into the world with the spirit of the Baramundi. And Baramundi entered deep still waters and began to dream. Baramundi dreamed of waves and wet sand. But Baramundi did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the deep still water. So, Baramundi passed the secret of dreaming to the spirit of the Kyuriki, which is the turtle. And Kyuriki came out of the waves onto the wet sand and began to dream. Kyuriki dreamed of the rocks and warm sun, but Kyuriki did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the waves and wet sand. So Kyuriki passed the secret of dreaming onto the spirit of the Bogai, which is the lizard. And Bogai climbed onto a rock and felt the warm sun on his back and began to dream. Bogai dreamed of the wind and the open sky. But Bogai did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the rocks and warm sun. So Bogai passed the secret of dreaming onto the spirit of Banjil, which is an eagle. And Banjil rose into the open sky, felt the wind in his wings, and began to dream. Banjil dreamed of the trees and the night sky, but Banjil did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the wind and the open sky. So Banjil passed the secret of dreaming onto the spirit of Kunarang, which is the possum. And Kunarang climbed high into the tree, looked at the night sky, and began to dream. So Kunarang dreamed of the white plains and yellow grass. But Kunarang did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the trees and the night sky. So Kunarang passed the secret of dreaming onto the spirit of Kangaroo. And Kangaroo stood tall, looked across the plain of yellow grass, and began to dream. Kangaroo dreamed of music and song and laughter. But Kangaroo did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the white plains and yellow grass. So Kangaroo passed the secret of dreaming onto the spirit of man. And man walked across the land and saw the works of creation. He heard the bird song at dawn and saw the red sun at dusk and began to dream. Man dreamed of sharing the music of dawn birds, the dance of the emu, and the red ochre of sunset. And he dreamed also of the laughter of children. And man understood the dream. So he continued to dream of all the things that had been dreamed before. 
He dreamed of the deep still water, of the waves and wet sand, the rocks and the open sky, the trees and the night sky, and the plains of yellow grass. And man knew through the dreaming that all creatures were his spirit cousins, and that he must protect their dreaming. And he dreamed of how he would tell these secrets to his child who was not yet born. Then the great spirit knew at last that the secret of dreaming was safe. And being tired from the dreaming of creation, the spirit of life entered the land to rest. So that now, when the spirits of all creatures become tired, they join the spirit of life in the land. So, this is why the land is sacred, and man must be its caretaker. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed the story, and you have numbered your words. So, let's check. Nothing, fire, wind, rain, earth, sky, land, sea. Life, Baramundi, Kuriki, Bogai, Banjil, Punurang, Kangaroo. And that's it. Okay, well done. And now, to practice our words, we have learned some Aboriginal words here. Please write this into your browsers. Sada ćete u alatnu traku pisati ovo, bit.ly, ko sa crta Aboriginal i velikim slojima. I tu ima postoji jedna igra, u kojoj ćete uvižbati riječi koje smo ovdje čuli. So stop the video and do this activity. Ok, welcome back. Here is our story and you will try to retell it together with me. You can read it and here, instead of the pictures, please put the words. Once there was, but the spirit of all life. Then in the mind of the spirit of life, a dreaming began. There was a dreaming of wind and then came a dreaming of earth and and of and sea. Well done. Can you please read this and change these words? Try. Well done. And the last one. Okay. Well done. Now you have retold the story. And then you can copy this story in your notebooks. So stop the video and copy the story. The Secret of Dreaming Once there was nothing but the spirit of all life. Then in the mind of the spirit of life a dreaming began. There was a dreaming of fire, wind and rain. Then came a dreaming of earth and sky and of land and sea. Then life was sent into the dream. The spirit of Baramundi, Kyuriki, Wagai Banjil, Kunurag and Kangaroo. So stop the video and copy. But no spirit understood the dream, so the secret of dreaming was passed to man. Man knew that all creatures were his spirit cousins, and he must protect the dreaming, and that he must tell that to his children. So the secret of dreaming was finally safe. That's beautiful. Now you have a short story in your notebooks. You can stop this video and copy. Well done. And what about the Aborigines today? Today, there are around 650,000 Aborigines in Australia, and they live in large cities, mostly, like Sydney, Adelaide, or Perth. Aboriginal people learn many things from the white people. For example, today they paint on canvas in a special dot style. Aborigines su puno stvari naučili od bijelih ljudi, na primjer sada slikaju na slikarskom platnu, Imaju jedan svoj poseban stil slikanja pomoću točkica, as you can see here. 
Do you think that we can learn something from them too? Remember the fires in Australia last year? I think we can learn a lot about land and about how it is very important and sacred to people, right? And in the beginning, when white people came to Australia in 1770, they were not very good friends with Aborigines. But today, they understand each other, and um, if they understand each other, they respect each other. So they live in peace. And we should learn about each other a lot. And now, you will try to match these parts of the sentences. Uh, and these sentences are actually messages how we should behave today. Probajte spojiti ove dijelove rečenica. To su poruke kako se trebamo odnositi prema prirodi. Don't take plastic bags. Put bottles in a bottle bank. Turn off the tap while brushing your teeth. Walk or cycle to work. So here are some of the messages. How to behave. And now you will create a poster and this poster will have messages that you choose and also it will have something from the Aboriginal culture. For example, here is a painting, Aboriginal dot painting, and here is one message. Man is the caretaker of earth. This is the message from our story. And you will do the same. You will write your ecological messages. You can include this from this video or, but also add at least two new ones. Znači, imali ste one poruke koje smo spojili, možete njih koristiti u posteru, a možete, ali dodajte dvije svoje ideje. Add an element of Aboriginal culture, a symbol, a piece of art or a wise thought. Onda ćete u svoj poster dodati nešto od aboriđinske kulture, neki simbol, umjetnost ili neku mudru misao. I onda ćete napraviti poster ili u kanvi ili tradicionalan poster. Ako ne znate koristiti kanvu, imate ispod videa opis. I'm sure your work will be great. So to make sure that you have understood your task, please uh, look at this checklist. I have written at least two new messages in my poster, yes or no. I have added something aboriginal, yes or no. And I have created the poster. Well done. And now, let's see what have we learned in this lesson. We can retell the secret of dreaming, and we can create a poster with ecology-friendly messages. I have really enjoyed creating this lesson for you, and I hope you have enjoyed it too. At the end of this school year, let our message be protect our lives and protect our earth. Goodbye.